And we'll switch it up. We're going to go with the assistant coach of your Kalamazoo Wings, Colin Chalk. And Colin, good things happen when uh, you guys jump out. Now 5-0 and this year when you guys score three goals in the first period. But I don't think you guys can even predict uh, getting a goal from Carrier 46 seconds in. No, I mean, it wasn't a great shift to start. And, uh, you know, we're just able to capitalize on a great opportunity. And, um, you know, with him scoring two tonight obviously helps. And with us getting three, we want to keep it under three on the defensive side. So we know when that happens, we have a great chance to win the game. You guys, uh, was, we knew going in it was going to be a game day decision. And for Eric Catalyst, he played the first period. He seemed to be okay. He took a hit near the end of the first, and that pretty much was the end of his night. Precautionary, or is it, uh, did, was it a separate injury? No, I just think Ketsy didn't feel right. And uh, when, when, he, when you're not quite sure and uh, you're not sure what you're feeling or what's going on, uh, we just wanted to uh, uh, be safe and sorry and uh, decided to pull him out after the first period. Does it become bigger at that point? I mean, if you know that he's not playing in the beginning, some white guy is going to try to step up. You take him uh, out after the first period, even though you guys come off a big uh, chump. Guys that we needed to see step up, stepped up. You got Scheidel with a big game tonight. Drago Nagy plays well. It just seemed like they kind of filled the role uh, kind of seamlessly. Yeah, I mean, we, we came out and, and had a treacherous second period. I mean, we, we didn't really have any ozone possession time in there. And, um, you know, some penalties and uh, really we couldn't get out of our zone. But, you know, when, it, when a guy goes down like that, it gives an opportunity for other guys. And really, everyone should know everyone's position. Everyone should be interchangeable on this team. And we didn't respond well in the second, but uh, we were able to have some strong goaltending by Joel Martin to, to basically limp through the period and play much better in the third. During games, you were kind of controlling of the defense. you got to be happy with your guys the last, uh, really this whole weekend, the last couple of weeks, blocking shots. Sasha Kaman leads the team in plus minus. As a group, uh, how has this team matured? Well, I mean, you know, it's funny you touched on a few things. I mean, the shot blocks. I mean, Joe Sova, you know, has just been a warrior out there. Forwards have done a great job too. But, um, you know, you talk about Sasha Gamond and how you, you look at his game in the first eight weeks of the season, you think he's all offense. And really that's uh, really that's what he delivered and why we recruited him in the summertime. But, you know, for him to be uh, playing a polished defensive game, stick on puck, battling, being physical, making great outlet passes, uh, you know, we're selling to him that you're going to have a lot more time to create offense if you play hard the defensive zone. And, you know, obviously our veteran guys like Sammy have been great. Young guys like McCullough, you know, you know, tweeners like Ben Wilson. I mean, they've all just been really, really solid for us. Obviously, Jerry, Jeremy Blaine, American League guy, you know, what, what more can you say? I'm not saying preparation for this game was easy, but you've played them six times in the last four weeks. Tomorrow, a little difficult because you haven't seen the Allen Americans at all, and you really have less than 24 hours to put a game plan together. Right. I mean, we don't know a lot about them, obviously, but uh, we'll, we'll watch their games. They were in India on Friday and lost. They were uh, in Toledo tonight. We don't know the final score right now just because we haven't looked. But, um, you know, they're, they're going to be getting in a little bit earlier than we are. But, you know, they're three games in three nights. We have three games in two and a half days. And, uh, you know, it's an equal playing field, and we're going to have to gut one out. Hey, good luck tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, Mike.